Welcome Hello. back, Easy Esports. And today we will be having a Valorant A Division match between two teams, Brooklyn Tech and Francis Lewis. Two teams that have been in the league for a very long time, and both teams that are really good at the game. I am here with my fellow caster here. Um, Aeth, how are you? Hello, everyone. Uh, yes, uh, as Bobby has said, I am Aeth. I'm really good. I'm here to cast your game today. I hope I do amazing. And we're also here with our broadcaster. Hello, my name is Mario Salino. I'm actually a junior at Francis Lewis, one of our team. So let's get into it. Yeah, we got Francis. We have we got Francis Lewis broadcast over here. Hope that let's hope that bias goes into the game and is able to give Francis Lewis an advantage. Speaking of advantage, the picks going out here. The first map, Lotus. I mean, the thing is, we're gonna be I Lotus. I mean, we all know is a very uh, attacker sided. So um, we're gonna see how uh, Francis Lewis is gonna fight off against them because. Bron uh, Brooklyn Tech, sorry, wrong school. But Brooklyn Tech has been proven to be incredibly uh, very attacker-sided. I've seen them in the past, and they do absolutely incredible on attacker-sided. And I'm probably expecting the exact same thing here. What do you think, A? Hmm. I mean, you. I mean, going into these matches, I really just don't expect anything bad. I expect the games to be very even, but I'd like to see uh, what you say to be pro to be proven true. But yeah, like like I just said, anything can happen. We're gonna have to see what goes on here. And while we're loading in, I'm gonna talk about these uh, bans and picks here. We have Francis Lewis banning Haven with BTEC banning Ascent, and after that, we have Francis Lewis with the first pick of the map we're seeing right now, Lotus. And BTEC on picking attack and also picking buying with Francis Lewis being on defense, they ban Breeze and BTEC ban Sunset, leaving Split as our decider map. It's gonna be a very yeah. interesting set. Incredibly, be incredibly correct you are, Ace. And before we just immediately jump in, I want you to get like a quick analysis on what you think about these team comps and the placements that they are at, like their positioning. What do you think? I mean, you see the comps. If you, I really can't tell who will have an advantage, <laughs> especially with first picks like that. Yeah, Man, able to get just, Katie and just like immediately putting down crispy lips there. But I mean, we can continue this conversation after um Francis Lewis tries to defend Brooklyn Tech. And they're already pushing Ace so aggressively on site. Sushio's gonna throw a paint cells to try and force them off. Year 5 is gonna get the second kill or the first kill onto B Tech. And they already took everybody out quick and easy. Tom Thomas with the flank, and they're already expecting it. And Tadian, nice shot with that sheriff onto Tom Thomas and getting that nasty win for B Tech. Wow, that was just really fast paced true damn quick aggression coming out for b tech showing why they can be strong take trying to take down francis lewis as fast as they can but can they keep this momentum into round two we're gonna have to see here yeah anyways let's continue our conversation before we were uh rudely interrupted what i wouldn't do you think say rudely the interrupted these the, the, the teams have skill they're here to show it we're just here to talk yeah. about that skill Anyways, what do you comps, think about these team comps, yeah? These team comps, it feels like B Tech can rush out more, especially with the, with the sky and the, and the jet. Plus, smokes and blinds can be very effective. Plus, the omen in rain. You know, can see a lot of aggression here. Speaking of aggression, here at Luffy, able to get one, but you really don't getting the trade. Yeah, I mean, they're getting those eco kills and that's what they need. They got another one, but Bidon is gonna try to make it equal. The Pyro, those are the classic, it's the Potato Tap versus Sushio, the two people left. It's a Spectre versus a Vandal. I mean, at this point, it's just a gun diff. But who knows, Sushio could pull something off. That is miraculous, but no, Potato Tap finishes it off with a nice 3k. But, you know, that was actually incredibly close. Uh, Francis Lewis almost pulled back there, getting that, um, four kills and four guns off the hands of Bron uh, Brooklyn Tech. And now going into this round, we're gonna see, I wouldn't say similar economy, they are completely different. But still, pretty much similar guns. 
yeah, yeah. Very simpler guns here with with the rifles all out. It's almost a full rifle round, but usually we see rifle rounds around round four. So we're gonna have to see what game what goes out here. And we did see last round the four kills on the eco round is was really effective. I totally have to agree with you here. But guess what else is effective? That nano form forcing them off of sight. But my fifth ground does not fare. He pushes in, picks out Tom Thomas, and Pyro tries to get the trade, and he does. Now up to a 4v4. And wow, Majestic Nuts is really low immediately off the bat. But then again, you can't really do much, especially when you're getting Uto dumped like that on C site. They gotta figure something out. I mean, they have the trailblazer to hunt down some enemies. But Crispy lives! Night kill into Kadian, and Majestic Nuts get his, gets his kill before getting quickly taken out. And just trades going left right, it's now a 2v2. This is pretty equal, and this could actually be a win here. They're gonna push up so aggressively. Tyro looked away too fast, but still takes out Potato Tap, and Beat On is the last one to go down. Amazing ground overall coming out from Francis, Francis Lewis. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is B-Tech, they're getting very aggressive, but the cracks are starting to show and it's only ground blue right now. We're gonna see if Francis Lu can start taking advantage with their economy, or can B-Tech shut him down quick? Yeah, I mean, at this point, you really don't know who's gonna win. Both teams are really good at what they do, but they also do completely different things. And based off what we're seeing so far, it wouldn't be so uh, so far off to assume that it's going really good for, or it's gonna be really good for uh, Brooklyn Tech here. But speaking of Brooklyn Tech, they're gonna push on to B site so aggressively. They have Hadian on the judge getting two. He's gonna try to find the third, but no. Pyro manages to make his escape while doing damage in return to Hadian. Clear five, two Bucky kills. The man, the myth, the legend, the Bucky God. We have some shotgun legends over here playing a little bit of Fortnite. Tom Tom is trying to get that kill. My fish drowned. Right right oh, oh, oh. It's gonna get that kill. And my fish drowned. It's gonna get the last kill. That was a massacre. Every single body just died as soon as they peeked out of where they were hiding there. True. You know, the, honestly, it's hard to it's hard to fight against every aggression like that. And I mean. <laughs> It, 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 the, the round really speaks for itself there. Yeah, I mean, that that round was definitely one of the rounds of all times, if I was going to be honest. But going into the fifth round, what do you think about like these guns on um, B Tech's hand right now? Guns on B the guns on B Tech hand. It looks like they're trying to play a little more ego because they have a slight advantage on their economy. And it's not looking too good for Francis Lewis on defense right now. If they lose, this is not going to look good for their Kami as they're technically all in. But one and before wow. four right now. Yeah, already straight off the bat, some nice kills. They have some ults to work off of whenever they need. But it seems like they're going to be opting for the rotation. Oh, no, Katie and Kami. Oh, this is out. <laughs> and Sushio quickly takes him out. And getting it down to a 4v3 now, two on site, B Don far away from it. He is social distance distancing himself away from the A site here. But the lockdown does go down, forcing um B Tech to have to move away from site. And it's already not gonna be looking good for Majestic Nuts as he's stuck here. He's gonna try to make his escape and he barely escaped. But it won't matter, just picked off seconds after teleporting. And it isn't looking too good for EFL. Oh. They just would know. I will just stare the last line of defense. Able to use the lockdown to help against Majestic Nuts and win. It's taken it into his own hands at that point. Oh, wow, that was just... I mean, it was really close there. I mean, we would have saw, seen an incredible B Don uh, clip there. We should have, like, could have gotten into the um, Brooklyn Tech. Um, yeah, it could have gotten into the Brooklyn Tech montage if they do have one. But sadly, it didn't work out because Pyro is just simply better at what he does. And going on to sixth round, eighth. What do you think? Uh, looking at the defense here. 
Francis Lewis, so we're probably gonna play a little bit more campy. We see the three shotguns, the one shorty, and the two buckies. We're gonna try to play defensive on C. Going to see how that works out. And Sushio alone on A with the buckie. Might have to rotate in a bit. But the trying to X. Yep. Oh, oh, but Pyro gets that kill onto Kadian, like through uh through the wall there, or not wall, door there, and manages to take out their entry frag, or their main entry frag. They only have my fixed ground, the rain not to entry frag, which you really don't see often, but. They've got to work out something. But Gear 5, he has his shorty, but he's going to get forced oh, no, away. But it doesn't matter. The Seeker is the blind. It can only make him last so long. I mean, I, I love how my fish drowned didn't even bother shooting at him. He just stared at him with <laughs> wide eyes. But he's going to push through. He has to have like 15 minutes. I mean, get rid of that buggy off this man's hand. He is disgusting with it. But we're going to see Sushio try to attempt the same. With the Bucky, but he doesn't manage to do so. Potato type of Majestic Nuts just stop the competition and take it away. What a round. That was a pretty back and forth round overall, but beats heck. Showing Rider, the showing Rider pretty good right now. It seems they're trying to keep this momentum very well with their economy and try to snowball their way to a quick finish. You know, though it's looking possible for it so far, Francis Lewis can do anything. Yeah. I mean, I mean like, we're gonna see how the engineers are gonna work around this. Because now they've gotta push up really quickly if they really wanna win against, um, against oh, the enemy team. Francis Lewis here, he might be strong! He's insane! 3k there! He's gonna try to look for the fourth one! On to Tom Thomas! Can it be possible? Can it be done? My fish drowned! It oh. Seems like his mouse died. That was, that <laughs> I was, was gonna really say the same thing. thing. Mouse is yeah. connected there, but it won't matter. It'd be done right there. Just there to get the punish on Tom. In two and five. <laughs> in the favor of B-Tech. <laughs> oh! He disconnected for a bit. <laughs> I mean, get this man some new batteries for his mouse. Double A, triple A, whatever you got. Because he is not... I mean, he could have gotten that 4K there. Luckily, his mouse didn't die as soon as he walked through that smoke. All right. It died whenever, like, it least mattered. But who knows? Tom Thomas could could have made an incredible clutch with that dead mouse. Anyways. You know, and you know what? who else could have made the clutch? FOHS here. Their economy not looking too good. They have to try to win this round. Or it looks like v tech is going to be the start of a massive snowball. Yeah, and Gear 5 is going to be in his smoke with a Bucky. But Kadian, they just spam through that smoke and take him out easily. And Pyro and Tom Thomas on the flank. They're going to be able to take out one, but they can't take out the next. Oh my god, they're all on a flank, actually. The Thrash is not going to connect. It's a 2v4 right now on site. Sheriffs versus Vandals. Who's going to win? What are the better guns? They both require one one tap to the head. Majestic Nuts gets that one tap. Christy! Could be able to get one, but can't get the rest. No, it isn't looking too good. That was a flash. Yeah. What a flashy round. I mean, like... You don't really know, man. This is this is anybody's game right now. Agreed. It, it it really can be. Yeah, I really see it being anybody's game. I believe in comebacks a lot, so no. I believe Francis Lewis. Francis Lewis can do it. I believe in him. I mean, anything's possible if you just believe, right? And yep. you yep. might actually see that happen as. I mean, Francis Lewis has to believe for a miracle if they want to win this, and that might happen! Pyro takes out the first one! My first drown, he doesn't even care about his life, he just goes right in! And Pyro's good for a couple! But no, he, he's only able to take out one there, as Beatom takes out two of uh, Francis Lewis there. And now, Brooklyn Tech and Francis Lewis in a 3v3 scenario. Gear 5 
Trying to look for a kill, right? So lowly yeah. but surely. Yeah, but here's what, to... here's what we do. Here's what we do know is Crispy does have their ult ready, so they could use this for the retake. The smoke from oh, like... out here. Oh, speaking of Nightfall, yeah. it's gonna go out, and that's actually gonna initiate a retake and a really clean one as they take out every single one of Brooklyn Tech there. Amazing usage, but there's only but although that is good, there is only one problem with it. There was only one one person alive there, and with the economy, one person isn't too much. And because of how B Tech is still stacked, they're gonna like F FOHS is gonna have to do a bit more to start coming back. But it is a good start. Yeah, it definitely is a really good <clears throat> sorry, I had a voice crack there. A really good start for them. And I mean, now they're actually gonna try to make a comeback here. Francis Lewis, they've got to actually like get these wins, and they do have a couple of to, to help them Let's here. Play. The lockdown and that um, from the shadows are actually gonna help them try to get as many kills as possible. Year five, he's going all in, and he's gonna get it that. Can't kill even get far no. with the teleport right now, but just like much, trying to get in with this, toward the front, able to get one. Can now he get two? Him. I mean, it's gonna be hard, but that uh, Fade Eye is gonna be able to spot, uh, or actually not spot any, because they quickly take that out, like Crispy Lips took out Hayden in there, and, I mean, they've only got a quarter force, and a Phantom can work out there, but that Phantom's gonna be so much, and now, I mean, Vidon's one hit away from death, but Pyro, he just spams through that guided light, he's flashed, but he still gets that kill onto Vidon, and now it's a 1v, uh, 1v2, and Majestic Nuts is kind of in a pickle right now, he's in a Majestic Pickle, he's trying to find that kill, he has to throw the force at the ready whenever he needs, he's gonna get that first kill, he's gonna take it out and try to get Tom Thomas, but no, Tom Thomas shuts him down and says, nuh -uh. Overall, a very good good round coming out from FOHS, but again, only living with one person. But the economy is slowly starting to stack up over and over again. We're we'll, about we'll to see what happens. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> did I see what I think I saw? No, you did not. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue on. So, what do you think about how Francis Lewis is actually keeping up with Brooklyn Tech on a on a such a ta ta attacker sided map? I mean, get. I mean, so far they're not doing too bad. Although B Tech was get was having momentum for most of the half, it looks like Francis Lewis is trying to match that four and six right now. They could end out six and six for the half. I mean, that would definitely be interesting because we haven't seen how uh, Francis Lewis could work on attackers, especially on an attacker side map like this. My fish Drown does get that first pick though, so it doesn't even matter. Sushio shuts him down. That's why he says the Empress sucks and the I am better. He takes out another one as Crispy Lift takes out Potato Tap there and now into a 4v2 situation. Bidong and Kadian have to back up here now. I mean, they've got Spike in hand, but they've also got less people in hand true 2v4 but the good Ooh. cross replacement able to let beat on take one okay don't breaking the they're wall to take B down breakable door so they could actually opt for a rotation here and possibly trick out um francis lewis but sushio isn't gonna fall for that trick he's gonna try to get some damage some trip damage but he gets trip damaged himself and Kadian's gonna use his spike as bait there, just playing with his food, and he's gonna be able to pick up Tom Thomas! It worked! It's just like throwing your Rock 17 in Counter-Strike. It always works, it always finds a way, but now up to a 2v2. Seems like they're- seems like Sushio is not looking so good with his health there, and Crispy Lips he has to find Kadian because Kadian has spiked down. He's holding it, but Beatdown doesn't know that they're all coming from main, which is gonna leave Kaden alone holding this. But that closet placement, he doesn't have the aim to back it up, and it's up to Beatdown to take him out as Sushio and Crispy with advance, and Beatdown does it. He takes out Crispy and takes out Sushi with a quick succession with that little phantom in his hand. He manages to dispatch them. 
honestly an amazing round for both teams playing overall. Seems they're trying to play off each other heavily, especially with the 2v4. Didn't believe they'd make the they'd make it clutch out work, but they did. And I'm honestly <laughs> amazed. And their economy is showing through right now. I mean, I definitely thought Brooklyn Tech was going to be losing that, but then again, my mama never, my mama never raised a stupid guy. But anyways, they're gonna be pushing up here, slowly playing, being a little, uh, a little risky with that bunny hop there, and they're just rushing in. But they're gonna get naded off, and now it's up to yeah, my pick down to push up. He manages to dodge those stingers. Beaton, he's gonna get one. He's gonna get two. And Beaton now on the fighting in this two. Match so far. Beat on is definitely so far the MVP, but my fish round, he could easily be a contender as he takes out Pyro with ease, and it's up to Tom Thomas on the flank. They don't know what Tom Thomas is capable of. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess now they, now they'll know. <laughs> the one v five though, it is possible, but just I mean, no time. I just, it's hard to see it. Let him but, cook. Uh... Oh, sadly. He did not cook up a very good meal. Yeah. Push and I mean, side. a good half on the side of B-Tech going 8-4. Then again, it is attacker sided, So Francis Lewis does have a chance to okay. go this all back and make it so they can gain a lead. Yeah, now. We're on to a 4-8 to eight half. We can actually... Sorry. We could actually see Francis Lewis... Sorry. Make a comeback here. I mean... Anything's possible. You just gotta believe that it is possible. That is my new um quote that I live by. Big what do you quote. what do you think? <laughs> what do you think, Aid? I do agree. That is such a good quote. I mean, quotes are meant to be broken. So who knows? That's that's rules. <laughs> no, same, same. But anyways. Francis Lewis is gonna play a little aggressive. They're gonna try to do chip damage, but not enough because Kadian manages to take them down really well and take them down to zero health as well. Getting one, no, two kills before getting quickly traded by Crispy Lips. 4v3. V I mean, again, there's really nothing much that Brooklyn, or not Brooklyn, Francis Lewis could do here, except get those picks! Pyro, nice kill onto beat off, and now they're gonna be pushing up really quick. I was gonna clear this, trying to get that kill onto Majestic Nuts there, but guess what? Majestic Nuts isn't in the highlight reel for no reason, because he manages to miraculously survive that. Still with his 100 HP and gun in hand. Yeah, but don't ask to underestimate, don't ask to ask your Pyro, he's still in it. But no, he's out, and so is Tom. <laughs> and B Tech. Just quickly executing on the site, able to secure the round. The pis pistol's looking really good for them. I mean, I I just saw like magic because I mean magic from Majestic Nuts, yes. But that, works. that was that was an amazing retake from Brooklyn Tech. Even with the lack of util that they had, they still managed to pull back there with those sheriffs and managed to you know. To cure themselves that victory. Hey, sometimes Bunch you don't need you to. Sometimes all you need is aim. Do not quote me on that. <laughs> turn off your aim, or turn off your brain, go all aim. That's what Brooklyn Tech is living by. We're not but they still have the brain. We're not they still have EU. the brain in the equation. <laughs> We're not EU, alright? We can't see <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Thank goodness we're not EU, because in EU, would you see that Gear 5 takes out one, takes out two, with the pistol, he's gonna go for the third, but beat on, he's just, I mean, he's just better. I mean, you really can't say much about beat on except for, he is just way better than everybody else getting that third kill, and Indian is gonna Indian finish able it off. To finish it off. Pursuit, getting out Sushio, getting in the 10th round for B Tech, three more for them to take the first game. And Francis yeah. Lewis, they're got they're gonna have to start locking in here. Whatever mistake they're making, they're gonna have to change it. We're probably gonna see a timeout come out soon. I mean, I have not seen a timeout in like 20 years. No, it's been a while since I've seen a team use the option to timeout. But 
let's, I mean, I really hope we get a timeout here because we get to stay in this game a little longer. But my fish drowning, Katie and Artie getting the first two picks onto B Tech. Or not B Tech, sorry. Um, Francis Lewis. It's not looking so good for them except for the fact that Gear 5 gets that kill and beat on. Gets that trade as per usual, average beat on gameplay. That off's gonna miss the first shot. He's gonna try to take out Sushio, and he does. It's up to Crispy Lips to take him out. I mean, Kadian was kind of, was kind of being a little. One. Yeah, he was KDN shooting. Rushing in. Yeah, Kadian rushing in a, a little bit, and a little too aggressive and getting punished, as what I'd say deserve. Some yeah, I mean, he, he the dog has an Oh yeah. no. Oh no. Can we can we please black out the screen here? We don't we don't want our uh don't want our uh you know friends to get exposed like that. Because my fish, my fish down just straight up dodged all his shots just like the Matrix there. Yeah, I'd say so indeed. But uh, again, again, Francis Lewis, they it's possible for them. To make the biggest comeback we've seen. We've seen more in VC. We've seen bigger comebacks in VCT. It's definitely possible in here as well. I mean, uh -oh. we've seen a lot of things in VCT, but we've also never seen that because they all just yeah, okay. pushed up, getting those kills and getting killed in return. She should have throw that pain shell, forcing Katie in a way with that off there. And now, Sushio and Tom Thomas, the, the iconic combo or duo, is going to try to take them out, but Majestic Nuts is just better. He, he manages to get that double headshot kills onto Francis Lewis, finishing it off. 4 to 12. I'm one round away from victory. Yeah, BTEX economy looking entirely stacked. If if FL wants to take them down, they have to start going strong now. Anything to hold him back for this game, they have to let it out now as they're on the force by not even full five rifles. Spectre laying there as well. And now going into um Wow, I'm losing track of the map. 17 rounds. Wow. It's been a hell of a ride. 17 rounds and two picks in the, the team. Team. Oh my god, whoa, okay. Oh. Hold on, I blinked, here. I blinked for a second, and Majestic Nuts is the only one alive, and it might be the only one to take this round home, oh, 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 unless that Thrash is gonna kill him. The Thrash denies, yes, but no, again, a little too aggressive. Nice tip, oh, nice tip. No. Oh. No! Oh, he got too cocky! No and Majestic way. Nuts went to take him out with 30 no HP! Way. Wow! What did I just see there? Clutch. <laughs> that's, um, that's a that's a moment. Eighth, eighth. Um, am I dreaming or like? Uh, I I can't I can't after that one I can't tell you. <laughs> what a game! And what an ending. <laughs> Someone clip that, please. <laughs> but I mean, I was hyping up the, the knife there, but I didn't think that they would whiff the knife that much. But maybe Majestic Nuts is merely better. We've seen him pull off, I mean, better from, I think, the first game we've ever seen Majestic Nuts in this season. He got an ace on Bind, from what I recall. And, I mean, Majestic Nuts, he's, he's an MVP. He is. Why do you think we see him at the front page of Easy Esports website? Because he's just merely insane at what he does. What do you think, Ace? Honestly, if he just keeps his momentum from the first from the first round into the next one, I think he'll be fine. And I think he'll yeah. lead B Tech to an easy win. But we can't count on his teammates either. Well, I mean, look, I mean, it's up to Francis Lewis to pull back this round if they want to have a chance at going into the deciders but yeah in Fran well, francis lewis lotus was their pick and they really could not do much against the over aggression of b tech and this is now b tech's pick 
maybe that's how Brooklyn Tech is winning these matches. They're just tricking their opponents. Because usually you see a very defensive team from both sides, right? You want to play slow. You want to get those slow kills. But, you know. Yeah, especially on a tr yeah, especially on a uh, on a three site map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, that was an amazing first map, and we have to hand it off to uh, Brooklyn Tech there, going on to the second round or second map in the next five minutes. Have a good intermission. Take those snacks. Take those water. Take that break. Whatever you need. We'll see you in 10 or 5 minutes.
Welcome back, Easy Esports. We are back into Brooklyn Tech versus Francis Lewis. Valorant A Division. I mean, we're going to see a great time. The first map we had was Lotus, and Brooklyn Tech did take that away. But anyways, I am your caster, Dylan Bobby Wang from Townsend Harris, class of 2027. I am here with my fellow caster. Yes, hello everyone. I'm Aoife from, from John Dewey, uh, year 25, and we're here for a broadcaster. Hello, my name is Marcel Vino. I'm a junior at Francis Lewis. Yeah, right, and speaking and of Francis just, Lewis. And for anyone just tuning in, B Tech, they won the first map of Lotus 12 to 4. Yeah, and we're going on the second map of Bind. As you can tell, we're going to be seeing some interesting comps. Very similar comps at that. Select your agent. But except for the brim, we're gonna have gear five on the omen. I actually haven't seen gear five on anything but omen. A or A. There's no character banning in Vow, so a one trick could work yeah. out well. I mean you're not wrong there, but subbing out the jet for the Phoenix alternative on a map like Bind, I've never seen that before. Mm, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And you know what I do see? I see four blinds on defense. And I respect it. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a hell of a time for the opponents. If they've got to deal with all of these flash things coming right at them. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen here. We're gonna see okay. what setup we see. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing much you can say except for the fact that they have almost mirror matches. And I actually have never seen in a long time Yoru on buying, but I guess both teams are resorting to it. Yeah. Let's see what goes on here. We're gonna have majority of Tech push the site of A. Ooh, but first pick from Gear Five onto my first round, and it's already a, a hell of a round. Tom Thomas getting that double kill, and Pyro's gonna try to get one, and he does onto Majestic Nuts getting that um chamber diff, and then that finish off from Crispy Lips. A really quick wrap. How long did that last? Like a couple of seconds. I mean, like, there's really nothing much that Francis Lewis could work off of here. Or, sorry, Brooklyn Tech can work off of here as they lost that first round very quick. And they're. It seems like uh, Francis Lewis is trying to predict them going B, but instead are going to be opting for the A push. And that actually causes Majestic Nuts and B Dog to get the first two picks, giving yep, them two guns and getting it off. It's just right now. They can plant wherever is needed. They're clearing out everything right now. Yeah, I mean, 3v5. There's nothing that Francis Lewis can or can't do here. They've got one Marshal, one Phantom, and one Ghost. They really don't want to lose these guns because these guns are going to be really influential. But Potato Tap is going to kill him with the starter pistol. And Sushio on the flank, he's going to get one. He's going to try to get another onto, uh, onto Beat On, maybe. But who knows? He's going to try to go for that fake gate crash, trying to throw off Beat On, but. Beat on doesn't fall for it, and that are and those are some really good guns now in the hands of uh, Brooklyn Tech. True, and the easy drifty coming out here from B Tech. You love to see it. Now they now they have a high advantage on the economy. Yeah. They've got way better guns than you know um what Let's uh, Francis dance. or so, yeah Francis Lewis has which is definitely gonna be not so good for Francis Lewis as they're gonna be stacking or not stacking but three stacking A with two on B but none of them are watching uh long they're just running up through garden through oh, the B -tech rush coming out here on B here able to get fish right now 
Get... You're fine with the, um... get the trade, but no gear going down as well. 3v4 on the side of B Tech advantage. Spike planted. And you're trying to get those picks there. But Fabian gets that pick up the pyro. Potato Trap gets his kill as well. And it's up to Crispy Lips to take it home. But oh, I thought Potato Tap just got really lucky with uh. that classic right click. But no, it was just my mere imagination. Majestic Nuts finishes it off. Yeah, no from mission, but just couldn't. Just couldn't get the round win right now. Two and one on the side of Francis Lewis. It seems they're they're surprisingly playing better on the on what wasn't even their pick compared to B Tech, and it's on their pick right now. Yeah, but now that they have equal buys or somewhat equal buys, we could actually see some fun gameplay going on here. With that Yoru clone, it might no Pyro oh, won't fall. Smart. But still, can you able to get power. able to get pyro? And here's the thing: although these are equal wins, these aren't equal economies. FL, if they lose this, their economy is shattered. Mm -hmm. And speaking I'm of losing, oh no, four v two right now. Sushio on the flank, he's gonna take Kadian as bait, oh, and he's in gear five. He's gonna use. Sushio making a distraction to get him two kills, making it now a 1v2 for Sushio to try and come back. But Majestic Nuts, you always expect Majestic Nuts to take you down. True, although, although Francis Lewis really doesn't have the best economy right now, taking out majority of the guns on the side of E-Tech is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. B-Tech being forced to use more economy. If if Francis Lewis can slowly get advantage on numbers like that, they can ev they'll eventually have enough credits to start snowballing in reverse. It's gonna have to start bringing it back against B-Tech. Yeah, and there goes the dark cover. Providing gear five with that Bucky. But he does hear that trailblazer. He's gonna barely dodge it. Oh, he dodges it twice. But it doesn't matter, Majestic Nuts still gets that kill. Potato Tap gets that kill. They're getting killed. Left, right, and center. It's just a 4v3 now. I actually didn't even expect one of B Tech to die already. But Sushio's gonna get the second dead B Tech in his hands. And the double flash is actually gonna work out perfectly for them. And it seems like they're gonna do it once more. The flash comp. A gear. He actually has really good uh, positioning right here. But my first round might actually arguably have better. And he's gonna go for the flank, and he's actually gonna take out two there. And now it's up to gear five. He takes out my first round, but beat on. He's there for the trade. Yeah, as Dying much as you get one that person, that isn't enough to win the game if there's more than one person alive. I mean, that flank from my fish drown was incredible because it allowed potato tap and beat on to get those kills in return and win that round for them but we're gonna see the port and force be pulled out by uh majestic you know what here. i do see i see a <laughs> lot of ultimates ready or about to be ready almost every single oh, ult right. is two charges away excluding pyros but then again Pyro doesn't even need his ult to be good at the game. Zushio's gonna get spotted by Katie and really quick. The blind side is gonna go out. But it doesn't work because Pyro, he just dodges it and takes out Potato Tap quickly. They're looking for all the kills. Katie is gonna barely escape with his life. They're gonna hunt him down like some wild goose chase. My fish drown being the best AFK in the entire game. He's just gonna get that kill on Katie in there. Majestic Nuts trying to find some more. Crispy Lips, a Sky Diff on the beat on. A nice blindside getting Majestic Nuts. And I mean, my fifth round, the best AFK. Once he goes AFK, the team loses. Or once he goes on AFK. The AFK anchor. <laughs> you gotta understand. No, it's not being AFK. It's it's called anchoring spawn. Teleport threat, that's a good spot. But I mean, generally, it, it isn't looking too bad for B Tech right now. Although they lost that, they're still looking in tip-top shape. Four and two. 
in. Yeah. Well, although they only have two ults, versus Lewis, they have four. Tom Thomas is pushing up really quickly here. Kadian's gonna dodge him. I mean, that's the that's a fail running back, even though it made space. It didn't get the kills that he wanted. Nice fish, wow, nice kill. He's gonna get another with that blade storm. He's gonna try to find um Tom Thomas. Sorry, Sushio here. Or, yeah, it was Tom Thomas. Right, for some reason I thought it was a Yoru, but the Yoru's actually near TP. He's gonna get Kadian. Tom Thomas is gonna get my fish drowned. It's up to it's up to Tom Thomas to pull it back. 1v3, we're gonna see how this plays out. He's gonna try to get that kill, but potato tap taps him away. Into death. Into death. My smoke can block yeah, the enemy's two line and of sight. five right now. B Tech, they're looking to try to attempt a snowball here. And honestly, with the way they're playing, I can see it happen. Francis Lewis might need to take a pause, might need to take a timeout here. Maybe not yet. Maybe they have something. Maybe they have a plan. Cloth. I mean, a plan is always handy. Especially when you're going off against Tom Thomas and he has an op in hand. Speaking of op in hand, there's also Pyro with the op in hand. Yeah, and you know what I you know what I almost forgot to talk about? How this is a full rifle round. And again, Francis Lewis on the downside of the economy. They have to win this. And so far, B Tech making it not look too good. But Tom, nice Tom, job, potato tap. Getting that kill. And now with that um dimensional drift, they've gotta figure something out with this. Kadian's gonna get the first kill on the Sushio. Woo wee. Woo wee mama. And they're gonna try to get those kills with the double off there. But both ops fall. And, and now, just, Francis Lewis, you thought their economy was bad. Now look at their economy. Oh boy, they gotta play the best defense they've ever played. They have to go back to the Buckies. They have to go back to the Shorties. They have to go back to the Judge. And they you have know to go me, to I love my thing. Good. Does damn, does B Tech have range right now? You know me, I love myself Fuck a good. Smell. Um, Bucky or Singer, because, you know, I'm gold, so I have no skill or no aim. So, you gotta go with whatever you got, but the, the TP strat, they all go through TP and just leave one. And that's gonna be gear five remaining gear here with five, the but the aim the works out right now, but oh no, the horrible teleport directly into Majestic Nut's face. Gear thought he was Rex Ninja for a second, but no, he got quickly taken out, taken out because he just TP'd right into Majestic Nuts. They're all pushing TP. The TP strat might actually work, but my fifth round is gonna try to shut them down with that op. Pyro, nice TP to dodge that op, and now it's up to Majestic Nuts to take this home for uh, Brooklyn Tech. But Francis what Lewis, the TP strat is just unstoppable. All the rounds that felt like Francis Lewis needed to win, that, will, so, that felt like one of the core ones. That was Which really... I, I would have to agree with you here, it's really good. Yeah, we're gonna see if they can start making this, making this into a big comeback. But B Tech, with the way they've been playing, they're just not looking to let that happen. Yeah. And, you know, now along with this, I mean, they've they've actually got some guns. Gear 5, of course, he's always going to remain with his judge. His handy dandy judge. It's like how all dads have a pocket wrench. He has his pocket judge, but Majestic Nuts has a pocket aim oh, as he takes out two. Just running around randomly. Oh. Oh, my fish grab didn't expect Crispy Lips to just be standing there waiting. Crispy Lips has the patience of a something that has patience. <laughs> Blue Fives is gonna push through that. No, he's gonna try to get that judge kill, but unexpectedly they have eight all to themselves. They just made themselves at home. But here's the thing, Francis Lewis, they can come from all angles right now. Unless KDN denies Crispy, just Crispy to shoot oh. right now. Oh no, not the whiff! Oh. No, no! Not the whiff! 
no. I mean, I think Hadian just got stressed out, you know. He missed the first uh, he missed the first few shots and then he just started stressing out and that's why he missed the rest. But but Majestic Nuts might actually avenge the fallen comrade here because Tom Thomas is gonna try to push up with the off here. Up on the side of Tom Thomas. This is not looking good. He's gonna get nerfed. Oh my god, the dodge is the weeps! Wow. I mean, that was just devastating. Yeah, and now on to the 10th or 11th round here. <laughs> There's yeah. really nothing that they could work off of here, except for a couple of buckies, a couple of shaka, uh, uh, Ferris, and some vandals. But they're gonna oh remain with the same noble shot. But it doesn't work because my fish drowned, takes out two there, and he's gonna try to take out the other no. one. Oh, no. I mean. Tom Thomas's fate was sealed as soon as he used that running back. Last round in the it was match. just game over for him as soon as he did that. Yeah, but hey, a nine, hey, a nine three could happen. Yeah, I mean, I at this point, if I was Brooklyn Tech, I would purposefully lose this round. So there's just no point in um, Francis Lewis possibly making a comeback. I mean, I wouldn't say that. They could start win. They could win pistol. Get out of my way! Well, get oh, he has his he he he's gonna get one shot. Yeah, he's gonna try to go for the TP, but it never works oh. for him at least. Orbital strikes gonna go off. Tiger's gonna walk into the hands of Cadian. This time he doesn't win, and he takes that shot. Crispy lips. He's just going all in. He's going crazy. He gets that kill on potato tip. He's or yeah, potato tabs, but majestic nuts. He's gonna quickly shot him down. Onto a 2v2 here. Tom Thomas is up in hand. He's gonna try to take out Majestic Nuts. Sushi is built different. He takes out Majestic Nuts and onto Cadian's head to get that 4 to 8. Switching sides. 4 to 8. The 9 3 has been denied. I mean, honestly, interesting half so far. Yeah, definitely. Going to see what happens this half. And B-Tech, they're looking to close out this series. But they're on defense now. Can they do well on defense is the question I have to want to answer. Oh, my pitch round is now disconnected. Uh -oh. But now he's back. You got a disconnect? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, uh, Crispy Lips, he's gonna get that kill onto Majestic Nuts. Initiating the first uh, push here. They're on site, they have Spike. But, you know, that's the smoke's not gonna allow them. For all, what the hell did I just see? I'm sorry, I, I was just baffled at what I saw in U-Haul there. But anyway, Sushio's gonna get that pick onto Potato Tap. And onto my fish round as well. b is gonna try to pull it back. But Iro, he's gonna finish it off with that Headhunter. Getting it now, five to eight. Hey, like I said, it's starting to look good for Francis Lewis. Francis Lewis could still make the comeback. Got to see. I don't know. I don't know if the people watching can can see chat right now. I'm gonna hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a, yeah, I don't think they can see chat for a good purpose, but I mean chat is some place you don't want to see But Kadian, he misses that buggy shot. He could have gotten that kill. Well, you do want to see yeah. those one taps coming up from my face. My face crowd, he's gonna try to get another one, but they push out quickly and there he goes. The Majestic does nice shot. He's gonna try to get that shot on the tier 5, but, but he gets quickly shut down. Brooklyn Tech is not looking so good, but Potato Town might pull it back. No, Pyro. Pyro's gonna take him out. Tom Thomas is also gonna take out Beaton with that sheriff headshot. Whoa. And now, no longer. Okay. Yes. Whoa, 
Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope not a lot of people saw that, but the BM? Yeah, I mean, that is definitely incredible to that part. But anyways, um, now going on to 6 to 8, this could actually be a really good comeback from Francis Lewis as they won the first two rounds. I wouldn't be surprised if they won the next seven rounds. If they want to get this victory, Gear 5 is going to push up with that gun. He's going to try to get it. The Padian, he has the better shotgun. I mean, after that change on the judge, I still prefer Bucky over it. Or oh, after oh the nerf on the judge. Okay, for anyone who can't see in game check, pump over attack. Very interesting <laughs> thing. And you know what else is interesting? The, 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 the 2v5 back into the 2v. Yeah, I can do 3v2 actually. Wait, wait, did Beatdown have a stinger or did he just go for the skin? Oh, he had a stinger. No wonder. I thought he would just live for the skin. <laughs> 3v1. 3v1. Francis Lewis advantage. Spike planted. Yeah, and that nice kill already straight off the bat from Majestic Nuts. He could come back here. This could go back into the high highlight reel. Majestic Nuts is gonna be the MVP of EG Esports season, winter season, possibly? Please? I mean, that'd be, that'd be sick. So far, he's been playing amazing. But the peak, Bro, he's gonna play but he double just can't peak. do enough with a double peak like that. Yeah, Fushio's gonna try to get some info and Tyro's gonna peak off contact. And that is, I mean, that is Majestic Nuts demise. Yeah. Just honestly, when, when you get into that, Scenario, it's just impossible to win unless you pre-aim unless you pre-aim the second angle and do the best spray transfer to the first angle, you're not winning that. Well uh, guess what? I mean Francis Lewis is spray transferring their way back onto the leaderboard. Seven to eight. Over. At this point, Brooklyn Tech should be trying to engineer themselves a grave. But Sushio, nice pick. Potato Tap's gonna get that other kill. Onto Sushio as a trade. Tyro's gonna try to get some picks. He's gonna get one. He's gonna get two. He's trying to look for the third. Kadian takes him out before he does, though. And now, Crispy Lips planting. Gear 5's gonna go for the. Oh, God, they're <laughs> throwing. Oh, no. We've seen this before. I don't know where I've seen this before. Maybe from map one? But, you know, I, I, I've seen a scenario similar to that. Yeah. But anyways. They're gonna be pushing up here. Tom Tom is trying to find, trying to get some info. And he's trying to peek Majestic Nuts. Gets quickly taken now, trying to get the Headhunter headshot. But Tom Thomas gets that final kill onto Kadian, hunting for gun skins. I respect the hustle. And now, 8-8. Eight to eight. It's actually one's game now. They brought it back. Hey, uh, uh beat B Tech is starting slack. And by starting, I mean they started four rounds ago, but it's starting to show more and more. They gotta start locking in. They gotta start ending unless they want to draw for the game three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Brooklyn Tech kind of wants us to suffer if they want to go for that decided. But it definitely would make an interesting match. Two really great teams, but one really great player and a judge in hand. I've He's going to be able to trained. take out two with it. And now, I was going to be able to spot my fifth round. Oh, Missed no. Don't do it. Okay, oh. it doesn't whiff two. That's yeah, I mean, you whiff one, you never whiff the second unless you're me. But well, anyways, Sushio's going to get that pick. Kadian's going to get that trade. And 2v2, that, um, regrowth is going to be able to heal him up. Well, Brooklyn Tech, they're gonna put a stop to the winning streak of, uh, Francis Lewis. And, you know, not looking so good. Yep, alright, B Tech, all the- it, it seems they were going for the past few rounds, they decided, alright, we want this game to end, mm -hmm. and it seems they're looking to end it now. And they may have started playing, like, normally now. Uh, look look at their Ultracon. Note note that Ace. Hey, what do you think about it? Oh no. You want to play? Let's play. I know a full yeah, okay. site is gonna get full ulted. I see it. Ooh, but that smoke is gonna allow my gonna have to protecting fish. 
I don't know. I don't think it was an accident because they saw the dimensional drift. Gear 5 is Bucky. I mean, I'm pretty sure Bucky close range is better than off close range. But, you know, I'm not Albert Einstein, so I wouldn't know. But Potato Cap is also not because he has an Odin in hand. And I have a I have a hatred for Odin users. Yeah, and you know we do anyway. go 2v2 right now. Seeker going out. Gear's gonna be pushing right into that smoke with no regard for his life. Beatdown's gonna quickly take him out. And Majestic Nuts, judge from mid range, is gonna pew pew him dead. Don't even yeah, stop right now. B Tech, they're, they're, they're looking to just shut it down here in straight four. They're looking to just win the set and move on, it seems. The <laughs> they're doing a little bit of a chest bump. Uh, yes, a chest bump. And, I mean, they have three ults, so I could see them very much securing defense on the site. Very yeah, easy. yeah, that was two ults down the drain, like, from last round. They just wasted so many ults that last round, they pumped it in, and it actually worked out. It's like an investment, you know? It's like, yep. you give me two ults, you win the round. Tom Thomas, though, getting that first pick, my first round, it's gonna be off battle. And Ma Majestic Nuts, he's gonna fall into the trap of the judge once again. He he's gonna take out Gear and Tom Thomas. And Beaton's gonna be on the receiving end of that Sushio spray, spray down. Majestic Nuts, he's good for a 4k here. As long as Sushio gives in to the temptation of PK, he can actually win it. But no, oh Sushio's the one who gets the 4k part. Not, not Majestic Nuts. Wow. Yeah, FL, FL, Francis Lewis, they are not out of this yet. I mean, yeah, but... Although it isn't looking, it, it isn't looking the best because their economy, while they do have better weapons, the actually, both economies, if they lose, one team is going to be in real trouble. Yeah. This is a make or break round for both teams and B Tech to have the disadvantage. Woohoo! Teleport. Majestic Nuts kind of got a Five Nights at Freddy's Foxy dumpster with that trailblazer. But the double, the double fake clone to push in onto site, they're all Potato. pushing in into the hands of no. Potato Cat with the Bucky and Majestic Nuts with that Tour de Force. Tyler's gonna quickly take him out, but he doesn't expect my fix round on the flank to take him out. And now it's up to Gear 5. He's not gonna have his iconic Bucky strat, but instead he has his iconic Vandal strat. And he's gonna try to get that spike, and he does get spike. And they're gonna think he's going B. Oh, he's the no. big brain oh, strat. No, at least you'd expect to have at least one anchor. And there is B on the anchor. Other. He knows, and he's able to call quick for to rotate planted. back. Wait, he might go right into the block. He's, he's, no. no. he's gonna whip. No. Oh. The barrel sticking out, but no. I mean, last time, last time, Kadian was on the receiving end, but now Beaton is. They're just going down the list of Brooklyn Tech, whiffing their thoughts, sadly. Oh, the mic is down. Gear just wasn't able to whiff enough shots to hit my fish drowns head. Yeah, he just and needed that running gun spray onto that one tap, but now onto the 21st round? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, that's why math is somewhat important. Alright, so, going into this round, we're gonna see two ready ults. We're gonna have Run It Back and Dimensional Drift. Two really great ults for making space, getting info, and just taking people out. Maybe not Dimensional Drift, but Run It Back, definitely. Mm. Yeah, and that, that one Yuru ult, I, I don't, I, out of all the ults, I don't think I will ever remember Yuru's. But that could be really effective if we gain an info. KDN. <laughs> they do have yeah, a. There goes the running back out. Was... Oh, he's imagining. Back out right now. And oh my god, my that. fish drowned. Getting three. Can he get four? Wow, my fish drowned. Oh, Thomas. 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 <laughs> Thomas. Wow. Thomas gets punished for, for trying to pre peek my fish drowned. And Crispy lips. Yeah, and they're 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 wait, they would get two, but cannot get three. 9 12 right now in favor okay. of B-Tech. Set eight points. Eighth, I have a question. I know you're like an anal analysis caster, but like I need you to answer riddle me this, Batman. What the hell just happened? 
<laughs> I wouldn't call myself an analyst. I can't analyze that. <laughs> so anyway, my fish drowned. It's not only his fish that drowned. It was the entire team that drowned. So it was the entire um, Francis Lewis team that drowned. Because he just shot them down quick with that vandal. Those triple headshots. I, I wish we had the point of view on that. It would have been insane. But sadly, Marcelino is just... Marcelino is Marcelino. They're trying to body block him. Higgins is trying to body block him into Potato Tap to overall strike there. And Tier 5 is going to be a... Use that Bucky. Taking out that... 4v2 right now. The great... <laughs> they fell for the gate tag fake. And my foot's down. Almost got that op shot. Higgins though. He has the op in hand. He gets down another one. He's going for the clutch. But, but no. cannot get it. No. Pyro on the there. Ten calls is actually really close, eh? It was really close, but just not close enough. Yeah. Eight, what do you think? Ten to twelve. It's up to it's up to Francis Lewis to get those last two rounds. If they wanna go on to overtime and a possible decider map. Alright, show me these economies real quick. Let's yes, see them sir. here and I think it's possible. That's all I need to say. <laughs> the end of story. I think it's. I think it's possible. Anything possible if you very believe. Possible. Back in my throat. No. I get drowned though. Don't prove I mean, me wrong, beat side. I mean, it's possible, but it's not gonna be. Is this what a cast is looks way. like in action? <laughs> is this what it feels like to get broken up? Oh, pyro! Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's still wait. getting a <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? This is. This is def This is like. Oh, this is like, I, I don't want have to play, any words to describe play. this other than this is crazy. The Port of Force goes out, the guy to like almost connect, but Pyro, he connects the Port of Force instead, and it's up to Hadian. Op versus Op. Pico's advantage, yes, he misses the first shot. I mean, Pico's advantage works if Pyro just has better movement. But no, Hadian oh, has better aim. able to get one. Can he get two to flash with Crispy Lips just got a punch. anybody and oh no, Crispy Lips with the good angle. Crispy Lips needed to play time there, but he didn't play time. He just went for that kill because he knew that he was low and he took it down 11 to 12. The final round, decide, or not final round, but final round of this normal match, deciding it all here and now. Brooklyn Tech. 12 points, one away from victory, and Francis Lewis, one point away from an overtime. They are one away from an overtime right now, but we have to see if the overtime can come out. But Jesse Nuts on the judge right now. Looking no, not the Odin. Minutes, but not directly in the smoke. The Odin coming out. Look here. He's going to get that first kill on the Canadian, and Potato Tap's going to get that quick trade. The Odin's gonna spray through, they're gonna try to get those kicks. Nice curveball from Tom Thomas, but it won't connect. Mike is drowned, and Potato Tap are just clearing the wave. And it's already now a 2v2, a blink of an eye, and they're all dead. And, it's, and the Seekers goes out. They only got a couple of ults. They have no ults, actually, to work off of. 2v2, and it looks like they're trying to take ult. the top one to play safe right now. I understand. And we're able to save. Time to jump. Just, actually, we're able to save the Rotating. But will the rotation be fast enough? Can they stop it in time? They still have some sky smokes to work off of. Pyro's kind of in a predicament here. And we're seeing some damage on Potato right now. Pretty low. Ooh. Potato literally won it. Pyro able to get the hits, but not able to get the kill. But yeah. Sergio, can he get the kill on Potato Trap while he's low? Standing. And it's up he's to Pyro. Right can he do it? Pyro can he do it? He's not able to get two, and that's and it. And that is the GG. Good games. Wow. That was just... What do you think about that? Brooklyn Tech taking that game home for Brooklyn, the borough of Brooklyn. And Francis Lewis can't really take it home for Queens there. And look. I think FL stands for F to pay respects and L because they lost that round or that lost that game. What do you think, Ace? I gotta agree with you on this one. Although Francis Lewis tried hard in the second game, nearly taking it and come and bouncing back from the first game, I have to say, but just 
wasn't enough. It seems the aggression overall coming out from B Tech was able to carry them to the win. Yeah, and hey, who who do you think was the MVP of this match? Uh this is, I mean this is a hard one, honestly. Although like Although, like, uh, my fish, Bino and Kadon were, like, doing pretty good info, but they also have met Majestic Nuts were fragging out a lot. Yeah, they got those kills. They got that. And, and eventually, they got those kills to result in a victory. And, I mean, that victory was definitely enough to win over that game. And, I mean, speaking of... MVP. Oh, never mind. Not speaking of MVPs, because they all just quit immediately as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as they did Fred after Fred we told can't them see to uh, They just all left. Yeah. <laughs> wait, well, wait, we, wait, wait, we can still get them in. Who do you? Who? Who would you say is MVP? Me. But in in reality, I think Majestic Nuts definitely deserve that MVP. Some great plays and some great clutches from him, and you know. He's just amazing. But what do you think about that match? We weren't able to see the last map, which was going to be split, with the same thing, Brooklyn Tech starting attackers, and uh, and vice versa. But, yeah, what do you think, Ace? Mm, I mean, generally, I, 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 I mean, I the only thing I play on split is flashes, so I'm going to be honest, that's the only thing I would have expected. But, I mean, I probably would have expected heavy aggression coming out from B-Tech once more. They were mm. not have tried to let Francis Lewis breathe. I'm going to try to see if we can get Majestic Nuts in here for an MVP interview. Yeah, while we wait for him to, you know, show up possibly. Um, Looking at so far what happened that match, there's some highlights that I want to feature was just almost everything, you know? The great plays, the TP rush. You can't forget that. TP rush. It's going to be engraved in history. That was insane. They just all went through TP, had one anchor in hookah, and managed to, you know, get those kills and, you know, take it home. Yeah, in general, I mean, it was a good game from both sides. Yeah, and like, that was, it was very interesting how it played off. Brooklyn Tech and Francis Lewis, two great teams in the A division. Brawling it out. I was thinking it'd be a close match, you know, decider, but you know, in the end, it didn't work as planned. Yeah, and sadly, uh, we have bad news. You can't get this interview where everyone has to, uh, everyone on the side of B Tech had to do. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, everyone on the side of B Tech, uh, they, they just they 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 have, they have, they're busy. They have plans. They you have know, to do they that like, round. We have to do, like, we have to do things as well in our lives, which is why we're mm -hmm. gonna have to end it here. I mean, it it was definitely really fun, and I've had a great time casting with you, Ace. I mean, a great game. Do you have anything else to say before we end off the stream? Well, actually, <laughs> I need to know who, who's gonna who's gonna be there on the ninth. Someone you know might be there as well. That's all I'll say. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Speaking of which, before we close off, December 9th and December 10th is the Invitational for Easy Esports. Definitely check it out before you go. There is a form in the Discord. I don't think it's too late to sign up, but definitely show up. We're going to have some great time. Free, uh, free refreshments at LIU. And, you know, it's been a great time. Thank you, Marcelino, for being our amazing broadcaster today. Um, do you have any final words, or can we end it off here? I think that's it. All right. Well, have a good day, Easy Sports, and we'll see you next time.